Viewer discretion is advised. If you don't like violence and you don't like gore, you should probably move on. Ladies and gentlemen, let's play The Dishwasher, Dead Samurai. Now I have to do a little hard drive magic in order to get this to work, because I didn't want to lose my save file, but I want it to start fresh. Didn't want to pull another Devil May Cry 4 on you. And uh, instead of picking a ridiculously difficult mode, I'm just going to play on normal. Save my soul. Let's, let's do this. How did I end up back here? I should be dead. I saw them rip my heart out of my chest before it all went dark. So why am I still alive? Am I alive? We've got him! In there! There's no time to worry about it. They're coming for me. There's an empty void in my chest, but my blood is raging. They killed me once. Now it's their turn. And with that, the adventure begins. We play as the dishwasher. X is quick attack, Y is strong attack, A is jump, B is grab. The right stick can be used to dodge. Now, like most hack and slashes, you have a bevy of combos at your disposal. Not at the beginning of the game, so you'll be seeing a lot of the same moves coming out of me. But as the game progresses, we will have access to longer combo chains and more diverse ways to dispatch our enemies, and that is exactly what we plan on doing. Isn't that right, Mr. Agent? I knew you would agree. Well, I think you would agree, but unfortunately your head is disattached from the neck region. Sorry! We are in the kitchen, which is appropriate, because we are a dishwasher. This would, this would be completely in line with what's going on. See, that's what we call cohesion. Pay attention. Wang. Now, the standard agents are pretty easy so long as you maintain a close proximity to them. Because, uh, so long as you do that, you can dodge in and around their gunfire, and they are relatively the weakest enemy anyway. They, they die pretty quickly. The guys with the uh, extendo cattle prods are a little bit more difficult, but they don't have any projectiles. So, um, it's pretty easy to take care of them. In fact, if nothing else, it's easier to take care of other enemies and ignore them, because the only way they can damage you is by getting close. And they smell. You can smell them coming a mile away. Don't worry about it. If you smell a mixture of uh, rotten goat cheese and camels, then you know they're on the way. And I mean the cigarette, not like the animal. Gosh, people are perverted. Now if we uh, backtrack the way we came, we will get a yummy little goodie. And by that I mean a time attack challenge. Completing this challenge on time will award us with something. I'm not going to tell you what it is. So there. Now when you finish off an enemy, a prompt will appear over their head, giving you the option to perform either a clean kill or a messy kill. Um, it, there really is no difference between the two, except uh, if you follow the prompt, you will get a uh, health bonus upon uh, killing the enemy. So if you want to keep your health up, follow the prompts, but this isn't necessary to play the game. If you're good enough, just you know, go for a messy kill, even if it says go for a clean kill. Break the rules! You don't have to act like a puppet, you're not on strings. I'm on strings, because I'm string theory, except I exist. Pretend that made sense. It does. Now, the uh, the voiced scene, uh, those of you who, uh, who've been watching me for a while, were done by myself and a couple of volunteer friends of mine. So, uh, I intend to do this for the entire game. I know that Let's Players doing voice acting is entirely cliche and it's always horrible, but I don't feel that the uh, comic cutscenes stand on their own. We've picked up a psycho pick. What is a psycho pick, but besides, you know, something really nifty looking? It is the gateway to power-ups. More on that in a minute. But the more power, the more psycho picks we collect, the stronger we can become. By way of helper bots, right there. When you see these guys, you can stock up on your Nutri bread and your Uber fishes, and you can upgrade the dishwasher any which way you please. Um, spirals are the the currency that we use which is all you need to buy items and health upgrades, but psycho picks are required for your weapons. Now that we've run up some walls, we're going to get familiar with these containers, which are lovely. For some reason, they're more resilient than the enemies, but that doesn't really matter, because they hold wonderful, wonderful things, like Nutri-Bread. You want Nutri-Bread. 
It's what you want. So the on-screen prompt is letting us know things that I already know. Combos. It's important to use them. If you're the kind of person who doesn't try out all the buttons when you start a game, then that would be very helpful, because it lets you know that you can get by without pressing the Y button over and over and over again. There's more to it. Unfortunately, this guy is not on my friends list, so I have to pound him into the wall and cut his neck off. It's just normal. They sent the goons. Fodder. What else you got? I used to be the one who would run. I used to have feelings. Like fear. Target acquired. Who's afraid now? Moving. So move. Bring it on. You're going to die. If you didn't run back and do the time attack, this will be your first time encountering the jetpack enemies. They have two main attacks that take place in, in the air. I don't know why I call them jetpack guys. They don't actually have jetpacks. They use a uh, repel cord. But either way, one is a downward diagonal machine gun spray, which is very annoying while you're trying to pull off combos on other enemies, like so. And the other is a nuclear bomb. I'll just call it a bomb. A bomb that they drop from the top of the screen. Which, if you're not paying attention to them, can be troublesome. But they you can, you can see them coming from a mile away. They are so, so telegraphed. Just pay attention. Just dodge out of the way. You won't get hit. But if you do get hit, it will take a lot of damage from you. So, this is what we call hard love. It's a tough love. I always get those two mixed up. And sometimes I wake up blindfolded in Nally. And it's just... It's not good. Allie McBeal. So the more of these guys there are, the more difficult it is to deal with at this stage of the game. Um, once you get a certain weapon, these guys become cake. Literally. They're covered in frosting and candles, and it's just really awkward. But for now, we sort of have to deal with their almost hypnotic gyrations and, and uh, ballistic weapons. It's just not good. It's not. But the sooner we dispatch them, the better. This room is a perfect way to bone up on the two or three combos that you have. So do so. Yay, another barrel! Inside is something I can only imagine. Perhaps it's a stripper. No, it was just spirals and, and health. That's fine too, I guess, if you're into that sort of thing. Dishwasher. Who is this? A masked rider? Who are you? important cyborg, no doubt. This world is owned by the cyborgs. This is just another. Ha ha ha! I am your captor and destroyer. That is all you need to know. And I am the dishwasher. Let's go! Oh, mysterious stranger, I'ma call you Josh. Follow the on-screen prompt and grab him every time he charges at you to do incredible damage. It is both incredible and... Ow, I just got hit. Try not to do that. His minions will get in your way, but just push them out. Not a big deal. If you actually do what the game tells you, you can kill this guy's horse pretty fast. You'll notice I say his horse, because he is very much alive. Now Josh is angry, and he's on foot. And with a shift blade in hand, he is capable of teleporting every which way, all willy-nilly, like some sort of crazy man. Now whenever he dashes up into the air to bring it down on your head, be sure to roll out of the way, because it is incredibly easy to dodge, and if you get hit by it, you should be embarrassed with yourself. You should. In fact, let me know if it happens so I can laugh at you. This is not a typical boss fight, you only have to get him down to half, and once you do, follow the prompt and end him. Unfortunately, he escapes. But on the plus side, we get a shift blade, which in my opinion is one of the greatest weapons in the game. It is a bit slower than the cleavers, sure, but you have the bonus of being able to teleport now, which is incredibly useful for evasion. I do say so. Next time on Let's Play the Dishwasher. More carnage. And it's going to be maximum.